So basically the three things that you need in a company are sales, profits, and value. So here we're not talking hmm. SPV as a special purpose vehicle. We're saying you need sales and profits and value. And when you have those things, you've got momentum you've got because you're building faster and faster. You know, you can use the money that's coming in to fund the rest. You've got optionality because you can have value plus you have income. So that gives you choices and lots of options in funding. Do I want to exit? Do I want to hang on to it? Do I want to, you know, bring other people in? Do I want to do a roll up? All those things. And you have sustainability because you actually not just have, like you can have sales. We've had sales and value before, but eventually you've got to make profit or you run out of runway and you got to go get funding. And so you're going to be diluted. So to have sustainability, you need profit too. So going through each of those three things in that intensive we have, you know, I, I did a 20 quick wins checklist, which I'm sharing right now. You could go through as you acquire all of you and, you know, and look at doing these things The there's a nine word email. And basically the nine word email comes from Dean Jackson, who has mm -hmm. a thing where he basically says, you know, are you still looking? Are you still looking to get more sales? I think it is, or something like that. Uh, Richard Lindner breaks that down. Also one last question is anytime you're talking to a customer, once you've had a customer service call to say, you know, Hey, Oh, one last question. And then ask them, is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else you would like, which gives them an opportunity to buy? You can increase the number of payment options. So we've hmm. over time added the ability in, in different businesses to be able to do payments through PayPal, where PayPal will pay you as the merchant hundred percent of the sale and the client gets to pay it off over six months. You can add the ability to pay in Bitcoin. You can add, you know, the ability to self-finance. We self-finance lots of things as well, you know, where you're just basically giving your customer the ability to pay in as many different ways as possible. I, I had a business that we, uh, that I acquired and we ran for about 10 years before we added credit cards. And um, it was just like, just, we never, we were just busy with it and it was making money by itself. And it was a direct mail business and people sent in checks and we were like, you know, well, what if we do credit cards? And we added credit cards and the business increased about 30%. You can add an order bump. So on the page, as you're going through and click funnels and uh, Kartra and a lot of the funnel building software allows you to do this. So for any sales that you have online, but you can also do an order bump live, right? And a lot of people forget about that. So you can talk about that an order bump is just some extra thing. A perfect easy example is, um, hey, you got the printed copy of this book. Would you like for an extra 29 or $39 to have the audio version as well, right? Or you bought this program that we're doing live. Would you like to have the ability to access these recordings forever? That's an order bump that happens at the time of sale. And it's a logical add-on right on the order form. So you can do that through a phone script when you're talking to somebody or live sales. You can do it online using some of that software, but that's a, a really easy way to do it. One of the things that we actually have a training on about an hour from now with a guy named Chris Crone, who, is, who, who has about 3 million people a day that he speaks to on social media. In talking with him, and I've had a lot of, through Clubhouse, I met a whole bunch of social media people that are like the guy that invented Grumpy Cat, if you guys know what that is, and a bunch of other really cool people. And they're selling, they're building eight figure plus businesses on social with no paid media at all. They don't know anything about paid media. They don't do email. It's all just straight social. And one of the things I learned for that, from them that we have not done at all that you will see on all of our social coming up is to add a call to action on every single post that you do. So just like you would bumper, you would put you know, an intro and an offer on a video that you were going to show to everybody, also do that on your social media posts. That was a huge breakthrough for, for me as something that we hadn't thought to do that's like just a ton of money that's sitting there. He thinks that like on our social, just my social that I've got, it'll be an extra million dollars a month in sales that's a pretty motivating thing. So he was kind enough to, we, we helped him out with some stuff and he was kind enough to do a couple of calls with us to, you know, to show us how to do that. So that's, that's kind of a new thing that is a no brainer. And, you know, it's like those head slapper things where you're like, ah, I should have thought to do that. Mm -hmm. Also taking a cue from Amazon, adding the ability for them to purchase other things while they are thinking about buying the thing that they're thinking about buying is a huge deal. And I think somebody did an analysis and 70% of Amazon's pages now are covered with recommendations. So like, that's a pretty big deal. So if you're on 
you're, if someone's on your website thinking about something or you're having a sales conversation, your salespeople or whatever, think about what are some other things that you can say, you know, hey, you should buy these things also, right? These are things that people bought that bought what you're buying or that are thinking about buying what you're buying that increases sales. Same thing post-purchase. If you think about Amazon and Amazon's, you know, obviously they're crazy successful. So it's nice to look at them for suggestions is post-purchase recommendations. So after you buy on Amazon, it says again, you know, people that bought what you bought, bought all these things. And you're like, Ooh, that's cool. And that's cool. And that's cool. So Give them the ability to buy both pre and post. This one is one that uh, is working really, really well for a good friend of mine, Frank Kern, right now. It's a version of his, what he used to call the four-day cash machine, but it's a two days on, three days off sequence. And basically the way it works is that you have somebody that comes in and looks at your stuff, you know, whatever your sales thing is. Maybe it's a webinar, maybe you did a challenge, maybe it's just an offer page, you know, maybe you're, you got them on the phone for a little bit and you're, you're off now. Okay. So that first interaction that you have and that first opportunity to buy has gone. So then what he does is every three days for about six times, he does a two day deadline offer. So basically it's a, it's, okay, you looked at my webinar, or we had a sales conversation or whatever, two days go by. Now you get an email campaign. The first day of this first campaign is going to be, hey, I know that you were interested in you know, the widget that I had for sale. I've added a bonus. Here's this cool bonus that you can get. It's only available for the next 48 hours. And there's a thing called Deadline Funnel, which is a plugin that you can use on Infusionsoft. And there's a lot of other countdown timer things you can use. But basically, this is only going to be a lot available to you for 48 hours. It closes at midnight tomorrow night. And if you're interested, great. Then that runs for two days. And then when that ends, three he lets three days go by. And then he does another one. And then he stacks another bonus on top of the former bonus and does that four times. Then the fifth time he does it as payment options available. And then the sixth time he does it as a subscription with a dollar trial. And that's pretty cool and applies to almost anything, including supplements, right? That's something to think about. And then the two six is the number of emails on each day. So basically two days, 40, 48 hour offers, three days spaced out in between each one expires. You add a new bonus each time for four times. Then you add payments. Then you add subscription dollar trial in each of those two days. You're sending two emails the first day telling them about the 48 hour, you know, offer bonus thing. And one goes in the morning, one goes in the afternoon so that you can try to catch people at the right time. And then the next day on day two, you send six emails one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, and then three countdown ones. Let's say it ends at 11 o'clock. Then you would send one at nine o'clock, one at 10 o'clock, one at 11 o'clock that says, you know, last chance, last chance, last chance. That's a really hmm. cool thing. And obviously we break these down into great detail, you know, in the intensive, but I'm giving you kind of the, the highlight so you know. But Lucas, yeah. that, that in particular yeah. could be a really good thing for you. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I heard him talking about something similar on Clubhouse, but that, that breakdown you just gave was brilliant and amazing. Thank you. I yeah, can, and, I can and, take that and, and run with it. Yeah, thank, yeah. And thank him for it because that's exactly what he told me. <laughs> I had, I had zero there. The uh, abandoned cart campaign. So immediately adding an abandoned cart campaign. Most people don't send emails to the people who put stuff in the cart and then didn't buy it. So that's an easy win. Adding product reviews, typically 30, 40% bump in conversion rates, just from the social proof, creating a referral program so that you incentivize other people, creating a loyalty program. So for people that buy you know, consistently get cool things, a resale promo to all of your existing customers. Most people forget their existing customers are worth about nine times what a prospect is worth. And then adding, you know, what can you sell to them from other lines that are related? What can you sell that's upsell, downsell? Particularly for you would be bundles. You know, can I create a bundle from existing products? Can I create a package mm -hmm. from existing services? Or, you know, can I run a former customer reactivation campaign? Can I test price increases like we just talked about, adding auto ship options. So like that's 20 things that you can do that will absolutely change a business.